Hello everyone, Drangles Japan. And today is a very hot day. It's been very uh, rainy here in Japan, sorry. Long time since one of these. Uh, but without further ado, I'm back. Thought of the day, here it is, just for you guys. Um, so living in Japan, uh, it's always hot in the summertime. But as you guys can see behind me, it's a rice paddy. Uh, where I live in Fukuoka City, they are not as common as you would say if you go out in the outskirts of the city. So the suburbs, things like that, you actually find them more often than you do here, where I live. Um, funny enough though, actually there's a crane right there, see him? He doesn't want to be taking a picture of. <laughs> but yeah, there's rice paddies actually, they're growing right now, getting ready for the fall harvest season for rice. And there's a lot. Uh, there's actually another one closer to my house that's just huge. Uh, most of the local ones here though, they're actually not sold at market. People raise them for themselves and whatever's left, then they kind of sell off. Uh, they don't yield a lot. I've never seen rice being grown, so I'm not sure how much you would probably get per acre or hectare of land, I'm not sure. But there's a lot of cool vegetables. There's a lot of gardens growing right now. We've kind of just entered the hot part of the summer. It's actually been raining here for about, I want to say about a month solid now. We should almost have feathers and webbed feet because there's been so much rain. The last two weeks has been raining at least between four and six days a week. I think we had one day last week that it was like sunny, like this. I went shopping and then it rained three or four straight days. I was like, That's great. So, but without further ado, when you come to Japan and you live in the out, I would say the outskirts, the isolated areas. I say if you live in Sendai, Hokkaido, um, can't think of somewhere else. I'll talk about, oh, to, uh, not Tokuyama, but uh, Kawasaki. Those areas in the outskirts areas are gonna actually have a lot more rice paddies, a lot more vegetables, fields, things like that. If you take the local train from here in Fukuoka City and you go north towards Kirikyushu, that's all you're gonna see. That's it. That's all you're gonna see on the outskirts is houses. It's gonna be like buildings, then small houses, farmland, and then buildings. That's kind of all you see as you go, especially if you go towards Ikea, which is the same way to Kitakushu. Um, sorry, it's really hot out today for, for me. It's muggy. Um, but yeah, if you ever come to Japan, you should definitely check out as you walk around and see the rice paddy fields. They're really cool and interesting. This is something that I'm going to show you guys that you'll see these everywhere as well. This is not a river. It's a drainage canal. Like this one's actually really big. Uh, the closer you get to Fukuoka, the heart of Fukuoka City, <coughs> they get bigger actually than that. They're actually about three and a half times bigger than that. Uh, and all it is is it's a drainage canal. But it's cool because there's actually, with it being a drainage canal, there's actually still fish in it. And they're only like mini fish, like maybe like this big. But people go and fish there and stuff. It's really cool. But it's kind of just a remnant of when they first built this area through the mountainous parts, because Kishu is very mountainous actually, that you can actually see all the different aqueducts here and stuff. If it's shaky, I'm very sorry. I don't have my tripod and I'm trying to do it with my hand and look at you guys and walk. So, uh, but yeah, just kind of a quick update what's going on. Uh, it's summer, it's hot. If you come here in the summer, be ready, wear like nice loose, Clothes. I mean, I'm sweating. I got a tank top on and shorts, and I'm still dying. When I put my suit back on, it's gonna be even hotter for me. I was like, oh my god. But yeah, kind of just an update, small one for you guys. Oh, and please make sure you guys go check out uh, some other videos on my channel. I have a few more coming. Uh, I'm gonna try and get back in the thought of the day. It's been hard. We didn't. There's been no internet where I live for a while, so it's been a challenge. So. But as always, please give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in another video. Thank you guys. Later.